Hello, I am Max from Tough Shot Vlogs, and today we're doing another vlog because why not? I haven't done one in a while. And as you notice from the title, the title is down there of this video. Uh, yeah, something happened, and I will uh, show it to you in a second. So yeah, this thing has a uh, slight problem, which I will show in a second. But if I start it up, find my keys. Yeah. My battery is shot. Luckily it did still start one last time, but like, you can tell. I turn the headlights, it goes down. Turn the brights, all that. It's, yeah. I drove home last night with basically nothing except for my headlights on, and I didn't even use my brakes half the way home, so. Yeah, I have to find a new battery and go on from there. But for now, I'm gonna be driving that Jeep. Where is it? Hello, focus. There it is. Yeah, driving that. So I need this. I think that's actually all I need for right now. I don't remember where I got this from. <laughs> ah. hm. I need this, and it does have the thing in it. Cool. All right. That's all we need. Hey, look, another neglected vehicle that I haven't touched in weeks and weeks and weeks. Yeah. This thing's a little dirty inside. Eh. I'm not thinking about it now. 133,000. Had like 131,000, I think. Whenever I stopped driving it a few years ago. Yeah, it doesn't get driven very much. So, like, man, I'm gonna miss my radio where I can plug my phone in. I forgot I have this cassette adapter that just goes like right there. And voila, now I have. A cord that I can plug into my phone. So I just finished uh, filming a car, which I had been waiting to film for a while. I don't know if you've actually seen it yet. I haven't decided if I want to actually put it in this video or not, or keep it a surprise, even though it's on my Snapchat, which you should follow. I'll put it like around here somewhere. But now, now I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably gonna get food of some sort, even though I kind of ate something when I woke up. Um, I don't know. I found out a, uh, a flaw with the uh, the Jeep's audio system. So this has the premium audio system, which has you know the fancy radio that has CD and cassette player, um, has a subwoofer in the center console. Well, the problem is is that the subwoofer in the center console is not working for some reason. I don't know why. Um, it went out once before a while ago. So I don't know if it went out. My dad disconnected it again because I remember when remember it did. We just disconnected it for a while because it was just it, it was blown out, so it sounded like crap. But now I can't hear anything from it, so I don't know if he did it again or what. Okay, so it's now the next day, and I'm about to actually go get a battery finally because yesterday I didn't really have much time because I was filming, and I went out to do things with friends because parties and things, and yeah, that doesn't happen very often. It just kind of surprised me, but we are going to go back out, and I wanted to show the uh, the temperature. Yeah, it's 74 degrees outside, and it's February 16th, I think, something like that. Also, yes, my hair is being hair, I guess. But we're gonna go out and get a battery. Probably gonna get a pretty nice one because I don't wanna, you know, have another dead battery accident. So as I mentioned, my old battery is old. It's from October of 2012, so I'm not surprised that it went out. So I totally have the AC on right now because I was trying to, uh, you know, do the window down thing, but my hair was having none of that, so yeah. AC it is. All right, so we got the battery. You kind of slid around a little bit. Oh, wow, that opened quickly. Yeah, just, you know, dirt last, whatever. Um, so here's my epic uh, tutorial on how to change a battery out. It appears I'll see a small wrench of some sort to get these uh, bolts out. Other than that, I mean, I, this battery, I like how it has like, the uh, protection, like thermal protection on it. So you're gonna need some basic tools, such as wrenches or uh, sockets or something. I just probably get a wrench to get these terminals off. And another one to get those off. Actually, I think there's only one. It just holds up against there. Shows I'm completely dumb. Forgot I have this back here, which is toolkit. Forgot I had that and it's actually what I need. So good news is that I got both of the uh, terminals off. Bad news, of course, is that this one I didn't even actually you know, undo the bolts or nut any. I just kind of uh, had to pull it off because I couldn't get the nut off because it's like all worn down. 
Alrighty, so now I have to just figure out what size that guy is and uh, go on from there. Okay, so I ran into a new problem. I got the thing out, but as you could tell, um, this wasn't supposed to come off. It kind of just broke off. Also, focus please, thank you. Yeah, you could tell there it just kind of broke off. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have to work on figuring that out. But for now, I can get the battery out and put the new one in. So out with the old, and in with the new. I did put a little bit of that dielectric grease on there, like they uh, suggested, as well as these little green and red things. And we are all hooked up, all tight. We've got a dome light, which is a good start. Well, that's not good. My radio's freaking out because I disconnected the battery. Hmm. I think it is going up slowly. Maybe I'll just let it run for a second and see what happens. I'll drive it around a little bit and then turn it off and turn it back on again. And it appears to be better. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to drive it around a little bit more and take it out a little bit further again and uh, see what happens then. It's kind of back up to where it was, like right before it started going real low. So I just had my alternator tested again, and uh, just because I was curious after I placed the battery, because it was the, ba the gauge is still down, and uh, it turns out that uh, my alternator is in fact Ripperinos. So yeah, I got a shift. Ah. And so you know how I was like praising this thing for its reliability like two videos ago? Yeah. Well, it's not. <sighs> I'm not gonna like say it's bad because it's not because this is just normal wear and tear stuff alternators go out batteries go out because the battery was bad pretty much bad anyway so it doesn't really matter that I replaced it so much also if this thing would focus that'd be great I accidentally changed my camera to uh, manual focus mode so otherwise why it wasn't focusing but yeah so I'm gonna have to buy a new alternator and install it but that'll make a good video a fun fun little video uh, sometime in the future all right, now you can't see anything, but a little bit of an update. As soon as I get my phone out of my pocket to get a uh, flashlight, I went ahead, got myself this Duralast, oh, it's the wrong way, Duralast Gold alternator. And for the last two and a half, three hours, I have been doing that. As you can see, slightly down there. I, yeah, I replaced it, like, all on my own. <laughs> so... And I've tested it, it does work. The truck does charge now, which is nice. And of course, my brand new battery over here. But now, I'm gonna take it for a little drive, take my core, which is in that box there, into AutoZone so I can get my $10 back. And yeah, we're gonna go on from there. Get some food, probably. If I start up, oh, sorry, rolling a little bit. Oh, well, eh. It is now a few days later, and as you can tell, Everything is still good. The truck's actually starting up a lot faster than it was before. So yeah, I fixed it. I'm, I am I feel very proud of myself because I was able to do that all on my own without actually looking up. I didn't look up anything on how to replace an alternator. I just went for it. And I am proud of myself for actually, you know, doing it. I'm gonna try and make more some vlogs like this sometime soon because I have a lot of other stuff that I'd like to do to the truck, especially one that I kind of need to do which is bleeding the clutch because the clutch doesn't work as good as it should, as I said to or the previous Ranger video that I made, which was why do I daily drive a why do I daily drive a truck, blah blah blah. So I'm gonna have to do that soon. I'll probably make a video of that whenever I do it, just because it's gonna be something to do with the truck. And I'm gonna also maybe start getting some parts for it, which is exciting. So don't know when it's gonna happen, but maybe in the next month or two. So anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'm out of here. See you.